today I wanted to talk about why are you the one to start the business that you're looking to start or for you to be running the business that you're currently already running. So, um, this is like, just like how it's looking at the timing of starting a business and how is it on trend with the market to be starting it is important. It's why you want to ask yourself, why are you the one to start this particular business? And sometimes people, um, don't start the business that they really want to be starting because they are like, I don't have the expertise or I don't have the certifications or things like that. And Hey Chantel, welcome. Um, and that, like that's a fear a lot of people have and I wouldn't really worry about that, to be honest with you. Really what I'm looking at is, or what I like to emphasize is, why are you the one to start this business? Have you helped other people in this area um, that you wanna be starting? So do you have, like I think that experience trumps education I'm gonna say 80% of the time, okay? Maybe even more, right? I mean, if you look at what um, Tony Robbins says, you know, like Tony Robbins is like a life coach, right? And, but w according to like the standard of life coaching, like the certification you need to get, they have a very strict criteria and he does not fall within the criteria because he doesn't adhere to the way they do things. And he says, I have a PhD in effing results. He's like, boom, right? Like what better way is that to like um, <laughs> qualify yourself for something? So when you're looking at, when I look at people and clients who are like, why are you the one to start this business? I look at more than just, is there some kind of certification that you have for this business? And I'm not talking about if you're like, a doctor or a lawyer or a psychiatrist, things like that, that actually, I totally believe those things need schooling, hello. Um, but I'm talking about the other types of businesses that are out there and what experience do you have that you bring? Um, hey Sinbad08, welcome um, to the table in order to be, to say that you are the perfect one to be starting this business. So what experience do you have? So if you guys agree with that, um, that experience trumps education, um, I would say 80, would I say 85% of the time, um, just like put like a thumbs up or a high five in the comments. <laughs> um, so I know that you're with me, even though I totally think that's the case. Um, so experience is one, um, definitely. So for instance, in my case, what qualifies me to be a business coach? Mm. Um, Hey, she's Marissa. Welcome. Uh, it's like my background is in product development and help well it didn't start off helping entrepreneurs that didn't that's not how it began it was product development design um, building prototypes building fashion related products everything from concept to manufacturing the product and putting it into the store at the retail level and I worked in that industry for at least I would say at least seven years before I started my own business and I went out and started a jewelry custom jewelry business and um, but within that it essentially became I didn't open a brick-and-mortar store so it was an online business and so I got education in how to run an online business very quickly and what I learned while I was doing that is there's a lot I didn't know so I started taking classes and courses um, here and there on like how to run an online business. Hey, JC, Mwah. I miss you. How are you? Are you back in town? I'm very curious. Let me know. Um, and while I was doing that, I was doing a lot of networking and I was meeting other entrepreneurs who were building other types of businesses and I was giving them free advice. I was like, oh, well, if you need this, I went here. If you need that, I went here. And they were like, oh my gosh, how do you know all these things? So in my starting my business, I was ac accumulating all of this other experience on business and after doing that for years and years so I ran my business for at least for about five years and realized I didn't want to do that anymore but the education I got through the five years trumped any type of MBA I could have went and got at school because I'm actually living and breathing it so working with um, retailers running an online store processing orders, distribution, marketing, branding, um, writing copy, like all of that I learned 
doing my business what worked what didn't work because like when it's just you hey look who's on welcome guys um oh sorry you guys distract me because I was just like oh I know some of you guys welcome um when you're running your business and you ain't got a lot of money it's like whatever mistakes you make you make them quick and then you learn and you move on right so experience um taught me more than I think me going because I had thought about it I was like okay well if I want to learn more about, about business I should go to school and get a business degree right and then what ended up happening is I started meeting people with business degrees and they were starting b businesses and they told me that the best training they got was in the actual business that they were running that there was no substitution for actually running the business there was nothing that they could have um, it's like there were things that they learned at business school, but it, it wasn't a direct correlation to what ended up happening in their business, right? Cause every situation is so unique. So, um, that's one of the reasons why I was like, okay, if you have an MBA, that's wonderful. And if you're an entrepreneur and you're worried about not having the right certifications to run your business, um, I don't think you need them because there's things like YouTube university, Instagram university, Google university. Go learn it online. You totally can. Hey, the Creeway, welcome. Um, so that's about experience. So when you're thinking about, um, are you the one to be starting this particular business? Think about what experience you have to be running this. So your next question might be, um, like, what if I don't have experience to be running this business? Um, that's all fair. And I'm not going to say don't go then launch that business. However, you need to have some other things in your arsenal then for you to be the one to run this business because it's just going to make the battle or the uphill, well, the uphill battle of entrepreneurship that much harder if you don't have any experience whatsoever or a partner that has that experience running the particular business that you want to be launching. Um, so you could look at what brought you to the business that you're trying to run and is there like are you super passionate about it so passion is one of those key factors that can push you to um to be to learn to end up being an expert in your business right so i developed a really like an intense passion for helping entrepreneurs like i was so um disheartened by what happened when I didn't know what to be doing in my business and I lost a lot of money making mistakes that could have been avoided because I didn't get the right mentoring coaching um I didn't know always know where to look to get the right type of information to move forward and I was like it doesn't need to be this hard because once I learned it I was like I could go and help other people do this because it does not need to be this hard people are not going to stop launching their businesses because it's hard that's not going to happen right so that's one of the reasons I went into coaching because I was like I would love to just take the things I've learned and make that journey for others that much easier so I developed an immense passion for helping entrepreneurs and that made me go and start gathering more and more information on um, entrepreneurship and running business or running a business so it's the same thing with you if you have a business and you don't have the expertise necessarily but your passion is what's driving you it's okay your passion is driving you where do you need to go to learn the things that you could then go teach to others or who do you need to partner with or hire to bring on to help you um develop yourself and position yourself as an expert in your field that people want to come to you for that thing um so passion is a really big thing or maybe it's even a cause right so um i don't know if chantelle's still on but you know i reference her a lot in um in my different videos and her passion was about helping um own your tone and spread the message that all new all color nudes are beautiful all the different skin tones are beautiful and she had developed a really immense passion for um for that message and for that cause but when she started out that's not how it began it was more out of a need of i can't find my nude in a lingerie store what's up with that and that ain't right right so it started from there she didn't have a background in necessarily making bras and underwear right but she went and got the expertise to 
fill in that gap while she did the passion part of that. And that's actually how we met, right? So she didn't have the expertise on how to build a bra, but she did have the passion around solving this problem that she had and knew in her heart that other women had as well. So passion can always be one of those things as well that um, fuel, fuel the business that you're trying to, that you're trying to push. So experience, passion. Um, I mean, if you have expertise, perfect. That's even better. Shout those from the rooftops. That's really important to people. People do want to know that, you know, you have some experience or it's like an expertise, if you have some kind of certification. So say if you're like in the health and wellness field and you're a natural path, um, for instance, it's like that kind of certification I would think is really valid and I would want to hire a natural path that went to school because you're dealing with um, my health and there's actual science involved in what in what it is that you're teaching. So you're going to want certifications in those things for sure, right? Um, but one of the key, um, one of the, one of the, mm, one of the key things that I find is really, really helpful um, to look at is who have you already helped in the area that you're pursuing? Hey, Tracy. Welcome, girl. I'm back. Um, so testimonials from people you've helped is super important. People underestimate testimonials. And I want to know if anybody's got like some amazing rockin' testimonials from people. It's like put a high five in the comments for me because... Um, if you're not asking for testimonials from people that you've helped, if you're running a business already, then you are leaving some valuable, valuable, um, marketing material out there, uh, and not utilizing it. So if you've helped anybody do what you are pushing in your business, then ask for the testimonial, have it in your arsenal and that's something you can also go back and reference when you're like oh i'm not sure if i'm doing this right i don't know if i'm helping people um i think i know who lil is that lillian liliana um oh gosh we know each other and i'm trying to look at your your handle because i know i'm not saying your name properly because but i know who this is so forgive me put your can you put your lil Blanet, can you please put your, oh yes, Lilla, oh my gosh. Okay, so um, Lilla, she is like serial entrepreneur and when I was a jewelry designer, she was one of the first stores that I had my jewelry in. Yes, the Black Box Boutique, she was awesome. She had a beautiful store and she housed my product and um, in Yorkville in Toronto. Um, hey, how are you? Thanks for tuning in, oh my gosh. Um, I think we're doing interiors now or real estate or something. Anyways, we should talk. Um, I love to see people who I haven't seen in like how long, like years and they show up on Instagram. Like how wonderful is that? So, um, t testimonials. Yes. Yes. Um, they're like everything because in today's day and age, I mean, social proof is almost everything. Like think about restaurants you go to based on the reviews, hotels you go to based on your reviews. Um, Movies you see based on reviews, right? Home renovations. Oh, nice. Nice. Interiors. Love. Um, it's like it becomes everything. So you want that social proof as well. If you're out there delivering a service or a product, get that feedback. Um, and it also helps you change, maneuver um, your packages, your product, your offerings based on what the customer feedback is, right? And so... If you're doing anything and you haven't gone and got those testimonials from a client you've worked with or someone who's used your product, go and do that today without fail. And I guarantee you that could be the thing that has sales improve within the next 30 days. Hands down. If I'm wrong, message me later and tell me I was wrong. Nothing happened. Okay. But you getting those testimonials. Okay. I should explain. You get the testimonial, however, you need to then go do something with it. So you either need to put it as part of your marketing strategy and put it in your marketing, um, use it on social media, use it on your Instagram, Facebook, whatever your, whichever tool you use, 
And if you don't have testimonials on your website, then you're already behind the ball. You need to be putting testimonials on your website. That is the social proof you need because in this saturated market up, every this, every market is saturated. This is the thing that you need to, to prove to people to be like, I'm doing something that actually helps whatever it is I say I'm doing, I'm good at. People are saying, see what everyone's saying about me, right? <laughs> like it seems, and some people don't like to brag about what they do, right? And it's not bragging. It's like, this is the reason you're in business. If you're not helping somebody, if you're not making anybody else's life better, you are wasting your time. Okay, if anybody knows who said that quote, put it in the comments. Um, I don't know if you know. I don't know if you know who said that, okay? That wisdom right there, that was said, I heard that quote, oh my gosh, years ago. And it stuck with me forever because it's just facts, right? If you are not making somebody else's life better, you are wasting your time. Okay, nobody put in the comments, so I'll just tell you. That was by, that was Will Smith. That's his quote. If you are not following Will Smith, or if you haven't looked at some of his videos from back in the day, um, he is one deep ass brother. Like he says things that will hit you to your core and be like, damn, what am I doing? What am I doing? And he is so motivating. And you want to look at whatever it is you're offering and really ask yourself, is this helping another individual? If not, then you should be doing something else. That's just facts, 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 facts. So, um, why asking yourself, why are you the one? Hey, chick, chick, classy, spicy, welcome. And passionate Marmar. Thanks for joining guys. Tell me where you're tuning in from. I want to know where you're in. I'm in Toronto. I'm in Toronto, Canada. I'd like to know where everybody else is. Um, so why are you the one to start your business? What are your experience? Ask yourself, what experiences do you have that qualify you to be the one? Write them down. Um, do you have any certifications or expertise? Maryland. Oh, cool. Um, and if you don't, it's fine. I'm just saying if you have them, you should be putting them front and center so people know that you did all of this work to go and learn these things and get certified. So you should be sharing that with people, right? And um, like I said, I experience Trump's um, schooling or education nine out of 10 times. That's just my four one. That's just my four one one on that. If like if somebody has an MBA but they've never launched a business or have never worked in business, it's like who would you rather hire? Someone who's been running their business for a few years or somebody who just got fresh out of school? Like it's a no brainer. Um, oh yes, and passion. Passion is something that will push you forward always. Um, it'll also so push you through the hard times when it gets so hard that you just can't. You're like, I don't want to do this business. I can't do this no more. It's like you want to just revisit why you started this business at all. And if that still rings true for you and um, have, like even though the work is work, but it doesn't feel that way because you love it so much. It's like that's when you know you're meant to be doing what you're doing. That's first and foremost. Um, but do you are you the one who's passionate enough to push this business forward? And as I'm saying that, I'm just thinking about like Shark Tank, right? So um who hey edward dell's official welcome um when i think of shark tank and the people on shark tank i have some people some clients who are like you know i could just go to shark tank get a deal and i'm good then i have money in the bank and i can run my business it's like it's like you have to be financially sound as a business for to bring on investors right but backtrack because you'll go on you'll watch shark tank and you'll see them invest in people and they'll be like well why can't i just be the person that they invest in like when i watch shark tank and they are like i love your passion i mean invest in you like count if you watch shark tank religiously how often does that happen not that often okay not that often so don't go to shark tank thinking you're going to be the one where they invest in you because you're passionate. If you're not making any sales, you don't have a sound plan and you've been reckless with your money. Like these guys are not stupid. They did not become millionaires, billionaires, um, by taking a risk, uh, on people who ain't got no sound business plan. It's like, they don't, that's just, that's just my four or five cents about that. Okay. <laughs> um, however, 
When you are watching and they invest in those people who are super passionate, you want to look and be like, are you that person that they're talking about? Are you actually passionate about what you're doing? Or are you looking, just looking for a payday? Because if you're just looking for a payday, then running a business is not the way you go and get it. Go do something else. Go invest your money in things that have fast returns and go learn some stocks and bonds, okay? Seriously. But if you're like that passionate entrepreneur, compare yourself to those people you see on the Shark Tank and be like, do I have that type of tenacity and resilience and that like that, that like love for my business the way these people are and got invested they were in the shark t the sharks want to invest in them based on like that feeling that they had so if you are not passion and purpose yes edward thank you um yeah and like steve jobs he was not i mean he was a, he was a bit of an asshole okay he was a lot of an asshole if you watch any of his movies he was a big asshole however it's like he didn't stray from what he wanted his belief and his purpose made apple what it is today right like he was like it's gonna be this way it's gonna i don't know and he hired people around him who were smarter than him to build the thing that he envisioned he was the 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 innovator right so it's like that's who you are in your business you're the one calling the shots and you hire the people around you and you know richard branson he does the same thing like he hires people who are smarter than him to execute on his crazy ideas and so if you don't have the expertise necessarily to be doing what you want to be doing, but you have the passion, those are just examples for you where passion can trump all of that. You just need to go partner and leverage off of other people's um, strength to build what it is that you want. Um, anything else I wanted to cover? Um, I think the only last thing I'll leave you with is what makes your business unique and special and you the unique and special person to run it so you want to do some brainstorming around that um one of the key activities i have my clients do is i have them interview people in their life or people that they've helped and ask them that question because you can't always see for yourself um what why you why are you the one you may not have the answer so you need to go and ask the people who are closest to you um, who have your back so when they give you feedback they're not like being an asshole or <laughs> saying things that are bringing you down um, and interviewing them and being like tell me what my strengths are tell me where I could improve tell me what you would pay me for um, if I had x and x in service right so that is something you can do if you are totally at a loss and don't know how to get this done hey beloved sweets welcome um, Jay Entergram hey girl welcome I've seen you before Thanks for, thanks for tuning in. Um, so yes, if you're not sure, it's time to recruit your peeps. What do we call them? Your tap in crew, I call them. The people who are around you who you tap into when you're like totally at a loss in your business and you just need some feedback and help. Those are the people you need to like. Um, hey, Nini, Miss CEO. Hey, girl. Um, thanks for tuning in. So uh, interview those people and get that feedback. Um, yeah, that's what I'm going to tell you about today. So... Like I said, um, I'm going to be doing the Instagram live starting next week, Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. This week, is, you know, it's been crazy because I was in Portugal and now I'm back and then I'm leaving for California on Friday um, for the Bliss Project uh, conference, women's conference, and I can't wait to um, experience that. And then I'll be back on a regular, um, yes. Um, however, if you want to stay connected um, log on to my website, join the email list, www.moniquebryan.com. And I'm going to be releasing tips and tools, freebies, templates. Um, we've got a really cool ebook coming out, um, with Nicole Williams, who was on here talking about web and all the 10 mistakes, missteps that entrepreneurs make when building their website. And that's going to be launching, um, probably the beginning of next week. So you don't want to miss out when that comes out. Uh, so log on. Get on the email list. Don't miss out. And um, this is the way we stay connected. And this way I can help you when I'm not on IG. So that's all I got to say about that. And I love you. Because I love you all for tuning in. And enjoy the rest of your week. All right. Okay. Deuces. Boom. I wish I had like some going out music. That's really what I need. Okay. <laughs>